Before the top of the hour, over the last 52 years, the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation has provided more than 33,000 scholarships worth about $90 million to children of Marines. And last night, here in New York, it held its annual Leatherneck Ball that uh, I had the honor of emceeing. It was a lot of fun, yes. Very nice. Uh, the, the purchasing over the rental actually paid off for me officially last mm -hmm. night. Joining us right now is the president of the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation, Margaret Davis, and scholarship recipient, one of the many, who spoke at the gala last night, Stephanie Moreno. Welcome to both of you. I'm it was a to quick turnaround, so you, you had to turn down the uh, after party last night. Uh, first up, congratulations, Stephanie, and tell us how important last night was, Margaret. Brian, uh, it was terrific. Uh, last night we raised more than a million dollars, all Great. to go to help scholarships for more than 2,200 students a year. And New York has been so supportive of us, the entire nation. We couldn't do what we do without your viewers, your listeners, uh, who help us invest in students just like Stephanie all around the country. Oh, Absolutely. Great. Stephanie, we see you walking up to the podium there, I believe, to either receive and speak. You killed it on that speech. I mean, Brian was fired up about it. What does it mean to you to be the recipient of the scholarship? It's an absolute privilege, really. Uh, I honestly couldn't be where I am without the scholarship. Tell us your story. Tell us about your dad. So, originally my family is actually from a very small town in Mexico, a beautiful town. If you ever get a chance, La Paz is the place to go. Um, and we, we lived there very happily for a very long time, but my dad started to miss home, California. So he decided it was time to go back, but it was a little rough to come back as a civilian. So he decided the military lifestyle was for him after the 9-11 attacks. And after that, our life just completely changed and for the better. So. Right. That's very nice. So the thing is, tuitions keep going up. You have goals and aspirations. You were able to get into Columbia. You're a sophomore. So the, the scholarship foundation enables you to go to a place like that because on a marine salary, it's just not going to work in a lot of cases, right? Definitely. Uh, the prices are just higher and higher, it seems, every day. And this is really just such a great opportunity for all of us yeah. military Military brats, really. <laughs> Military children. That's what you call yourself. That's what we call ourselves. <laughs> We're proud of it, too. Right. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I plan on going to medical school, hopefully, and I want to do pediatric oncology. Uh -huh. So um, just help out the community in any way possible. Margaret, last night you guys I would Howard uh, Lutnick. Uh, Canna Fitzgerald. Uh, what a story. Yeah. So what he went through at Canna Fitzgerald, and why is it important for the for civilians to help out the military? What role do they play for the Scholarship Foundation? Well, Brian, this is a real partnership. And you look at what the Marines and the Navy corpsmen who serve with them, Stephanie's dad, what they've sacrificed for us, Stephanie's family, now moving all the time. She's had homes all over the world. She she calls Columbia home now. We're very, very lucky at Columbia University. And we can't, you know, we, we couldn't do what we do without the partnership of people, great patriots, again, your viewers, your listeners who want to invest in future leaders like Stephanie. Fantastic. If people watching right now would like to donate, we will have the information on our website, foxandfriends.com, a little later on. Thank you. Uh, Margaret Steve, and thank Stephanie, you. good luck to you. Nice. Doctor. Elizabeth, thank you. Thank you. She amazing. Uh, She's absolutely so amazing. amazing. She's just Very like nice. incredible. Just like yeah. most of students. Gosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for uh, joining yeah. us.